Hi everyone, hi, my name is Lola Damson and welcome to the very first episode of Lola Unfiltered. Lola Unfiltered. Okay, brief introduction about myself. So um, I'm a publicist as well as a talent and brand manager. I have my company Lola 360 Limited. I've been running that for about six years. Um, I've worked with people like MI, Black Body Entertainment, Beauty Overdose, and I am currently managing actress and host, Dorcas Shola Fapson. Everybody knows her as DSF. Um, apart from that, I am also the general manager in Africa for Rock Nation. Rock Nation. I've been wanting to start this vlog series for about three years now, but I'm so glad that God said it was the right time. I just wanted to make sure it was perfect. Now, we're gonna be having this in season, so it's going to be 10 episodes per season. We'll go on a month's break and then be back again, starting off. Each episode is gonna come out once in two weeks, so you get this on Monday, you see it in two Monday time. No, that was definitely wrong English. So, this vlog series is going to come in seasons. It's um, 10 episodes per season, and um, we'll go on a month's break, and we'll come back again and um, the episodes are going to come out once every two weeks so it comes out every other monday does that make sense to you okay i'm excited moving on to the very first topic um today's topic is curtsy and communication curtsy and communication i can see my best friend saying jesus lola day must you yes darling aj i must this is a topic that i take very very personal to my heart because, like, I think it's, I don't even know how to start it. So I'm not going to say curtsy this and communication that. I'm just going to, like, kind of put everything together. And I, I know that you guys will get it. I'm going to start off with this very one. So ima imagine you're in a restaurant or a lounge somewhere with your friends. So it's like you and, like, three of your friends. You, someone just, like, walks in. And you know the person. The person walks up to you. Hey, Shola, how are you? Remember that guy that did this? Or remember that girl? Or have you seen Bimbo? No, I haven't seen her. Now, you guys are there for like one minute. You're talking, yeah? And then, all right, my darling, it was so nice seeing you. Mwah, mwah, bye. And the person walks away. Did you just see what just happened there? That rude person did not have the courtesy to say hello to the other people on the table. Why? Why are you like that? And it's, it's so annoying because it is so rampant in Lagos. You're sitting down, someone comes in to meet you, says what's up to someone on your table or someone, whatever it is that you're doing, and the person does not even have the manners to even say, oh, hi, hello. Now, bear in mind, I'm not telling you to give me a history of your life. I don't even want to know your name. I'm not saying be my friend. I'm only saying be courteous enough to say hello. If you're too shy to start saying hello to one by one by one. Hi everyone, hello everyone, hi, sorry. Do you understand? Sorry that you're taking the person you're saying hi to away from them for a few seconds or for a minute. Curtsy demands that. Or you walk into a room now and see three people there. Are you just going to be staring at them? Oh wow, log of wood, trees. They can't speak. I can't say hello to them. But if it's a dog now, hello Gucci, you're so cute, you're adorable. You can say hello to the dog, Abby, but human being now that is standing there, you can't say hello to the person. It's so bad. It's so bad. It is so bad. I don't even know how, how much or how hard I can express that bad there. And you know the other thing? I've seen some guys who have zero manners. And I'm not just saying girls, I'm saying men, guys. Now you walk, walk into like, you walk into a bar, you see your friend, be it a guy or a girl, talking with like two or three other girls. You just go there, hi, what's up now, how far now? I never see you in a long time, waiting there, phone, blah, blah, blah. So what happened to the girls standing there? Oh, well, cause they're women, you can't say hello to them. Check you out. I don't understand. I'm gonna give you an example because this happened to me. So I'm not just talking or speaking out of my ass or out of anger or something, but it did happen to me. Recently, which was about, what, two weeks ago or so, about a week and a half ago, I was at um, this restaurant that is really close to my house. We're sitting there, I'm with a female friend and I'm with a male friend, so it's like three of us on the table. And this guy just came in, he said, what's up to my female friend? I could see that he knew the guy, but not like they were buddies, so he now said hello to the guy. Wow, hello to the lady sitting in the middle. No hello to the lady sitting in the middle. This 
asshole. Yes, I called him an asshole because he had no manners at all whatsoever. And I just sat there looking at him like, oh, le soro. Kilo shenwe. Oh, le so high. Oh, wow. So, mon smell abi. You don't treat people like that. You don't have to wait for your friend that you're going to say hello to to introduce the people that she or he is sitting with to you before you say hello to them. Now, I'm going to move away from that one quickly so I don't keep you guys waiting for over five to six minutes. Second one has to do with like restaurants, bars, lounges, clubs. In my town, Lagos City. I have to say this to management. When you hire your staff, Please, I beg you, mufolo on bang. Biko, what's please in house, sir? I don't know, but Edjo, please, I beg you, please. You have to train your staff. I'm not talking about speaking to them for an hour and saying, so when a customer comes, this is what you do to a customer. That's what you do to a customer. You open the door, you tell them, ask them what, nah, 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 nah. Give them like a week's training. These are the people that are going to be communicating with your customers. They are the people that are helping you to bring money in because if the service is bad, I'm not going to go there and eat. Do you understand? Train them. When a customer walks in, put the menu on the table. First thing you need to get is the drink order. Do you understand? And try not to let things take so long before they get it. So allocate waiters or waitresses to certain tables so they don't get overwhelmed. And you can never have too many staff, especially if you're an establishment that is popular and people always want, or people always come there. Do you understand? You need things to be done in timely fashion and order. Also, please tell your waiters and waitresses to always ask the customer before they take the plate or the cups away. What if I want to take Fanta from tennis bottle and pour into my cup? You just take my cup away without asking. You just assume that because it's empty, I'm done. Even if I'm actually really done, curtsy again, ask, excuse me, ma'am, are you done? Can I take this away? And in between when your customers are sitting down, let them come and ask, is everything okay? Would you like me to bring something else for you? Things like that, so I don't have to keep going, es, es, es. I can't be acing everywhere I go to. Guy, I'll find now. Arrange your, arrange your service. Now to the security in clubs. Aha. Uh -huh. I know a lot of you are, are about to say what I want to say. Train your bodyguards for security in your clubs. I understand that you can say some people are just rude, some people don't know how to talk to people. Yes, I understand that. But you also need to, you yourself have to realize that sometimes your bouncers, their heads, scorn, scorn, you used to do them. They just talk to people anyhow. Am I your gate man? Am I your wife that did not give you Ogi this morning in the house? Why are you just going to shove your hand in my face and say, hey, you can't come in? Or what, because I'm not a regular? It's, it's bad when, you see them letting only regulars coming, or maybe they've known that person from another club that they used to work, and they did not say, okay, oh God, please come in. Yes, I can understand that it can get overwhelming sometimes when people are rushing to the gates and stuff like that. But again, curtsy. Speak to people, respect the people that you're speaking to. Don't just say, you can't come in. Bear in mind that these people are coming into your establishment to spend money. I hear you when you say some people will just come and buy one shot of tequila or just buy two shots of Hennessy and they will dance the whole night. That's their business if they're dancing and they're not enjoying themselves or they just come and buy water. Understand that some people will buy water because they just don't drink alcohol. Not just alcoholics go out to clubs. I have loads of friends who don't drink alcohol but they have turn up game. <laughs> that shit be real. I mean, have you guys gone to clubs in London or in America or in, in Paris or anywhere outside the country? or even in other African countries. They don't relate to people the way our bouncers here talk to people. Hello, ma'am, how you doing? Oh, can I check your purse, please? They are coming in there to spend their money. Guy, why now? It's not right. Now, I hope I passed that particular message on very well. I really hope I do. The last bit I'm going to just touch on now is another thing that actually really, really, really irritates me. Never ever conduct business on WhatsApp. Apart from if the person is like, do you understand? But how do you just meet someone, or you've never met someone, actually, you've never met someone, you found the person's number from somewhere, and you now WhatsApp me and say, what's up, Lola? Hi, dear. How the fuck am I your dear? Where do I know you from that you're daring me? Don't dare me. This is the kind of thing, people, that I don't respond to. Just send me a message, oh, hello. Be brief, in that one text you're going to send, hello, Lola, I got your number from Kasali. 
um, can you please send me your email address? I would like to discuss some business with you. Because I don't discuss business on WhatsApp. It's too casual. Or send me a text and ask for my email address. So it's more official. And get straight to the point. Don't beat around the bush, please. Just get straight to the point. So that is it for today's topic, courtesy and communication. I hope I was able to reach you guys. Like I know there are certain people that they probably tell themselves, oh, I do this, but you might be the nicest person in the world to your friends or your family, but bear in mind that the impression you give people the very first time they meet you is what is going to last for a very long time. Does that make sense? Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, 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 guys. Let me know your thoughts about today's topic. Send in your own um, opinions, your questions. I will respond to them. I will respond to when it makes sense. Does that make sense? Eh. My name is Lola Adamson. This is Lola Unfiltered, and I will see you guys in two weeks' time. <laughs>